is up everybody and today we'll be playing ping pong edition as you can see in the title it'll be a total of three games one the original ping pong number two will be cup pong where we have to throw the ball into the cup highest score wins and the last challenge will be the final challenge to determine who's the winner and i'll be basically bouncing a ping pong ball on this and the more highest number wins we will have a total of five attempts for that We'll also explain the rules for the other ones as we go on. And now, we'll start with the first challenge. Now, let's get into it. So now, we will start off with the first challenge. And it'll be original ping pong, as I said earlier. And the challenge will be me versus Austin. Straight a total of 10 points. It will be just once, so there's no other number or any bonuses either. So we're just gonna do that. And the score looks like this. If the ball, if I um, do it, you have to hit the first side, then bounce the second side on the serve. But you don't do it when you're just hitting it. And if, if that makes sense, you also, there's another rule that we're also playing. If, for example, Austin hits it straight out of bounds and I don't hit it, it's straight to my point. And yeah, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna explain more rules later and like we can also figure it out as we go on. And we will start with the first challenge right now. And yeah, we'll start me versus Austin. And we'll see you with the... So now we'll start with the first challenge. Oh, that was a bad choice. That would have went out straight on Austin's play. So that's the first point for Austin. 1-0. And we'll start with the second challenge. So now it is 1-0. And yeah, I'm winning. And yeah, let's start. Go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so that's my way. He went straight to the wall. Okay, well that was funny, but now it's one to one, and we're going to ten. So yeah, now it is my serve. Uh, it's one to one right now after that play, and yeah, we're good. Let's go. Oh no! No, not ready. I had 
for me to get over there, but Austin still got it, eight to three. I don't know if I'll catch up, but I'm still gonna try my best. And yeah, we'll start. It's Austin's turn right now. If you want to start right now? So it's eight to three right now, and yeah, we'll start. Oh, that was risky. Let's go. That's my point. Finally, a point for me. And that was a very tough scene for Austin right there. You never know, that could be the shot that helps me win. You never know. So apparently it's eight to four, and yeah. I might have just lost my screen. Yeah, he might have. So we're just gonna start from here. Oh, why did I hit that? I'm not, <laughs> you're so used to hitting it so high. But I mean, I'm catching up, it's eight to five. And yeah, we'll get to the next round. Okay, so it's my serve, five to eight. I'm losing by three, but I could catch up. Start. Oh, oh that's, that was, that's my point. Let's go. That's six to eight. Wow. But now I'm catching up a lot faster. Six to eight right now. Thank you, Austin. <laughs> so six, eight right now. Austin's only up by two. So we might get this. So let's start. Six to eight. I ducked past that. I am so close. Seven, eight. One point game. And yeah, next round is right after this. So it's currently my serve, seven to eight. One point game. Just for me to tie with Austin. But we're still going to 10 and we'll start this round. Seven, eight, got to win. Oh, let's go! That's another point for me. It hit net on Austin's um, side. So it's my point. Eight, eight. So right now it is eight to eight. Very close. Tie game right now. Two points for any of us to win this game. I'm just saying, there's total three games. This is just the first game. So stay tuned until the end for the final game. Eight to eight. Yeah. I was actually winning like by a lot. Yeah. Epic comeback. But yeah, let's start this round. Let's go. Eight to eight. I need to play very good. Concentrate every move. That's another for me. Nine, eight. Off a double bounce on off on the side. And yeah, you want to just start it off right here? Let me grab that ball. Nine to eight. One more point for me to win. Two more for Austin. Austin could get a comeback and I can also secure the win as well. And yeah, let's start. Nine eight, my serve, and go to ten. Yeah. Oh no, I have to switch up, but it messed me up. Nine nine. This is the closest it has ever been. Tie game, game point, and we'll go. You can start off right here. I'm ready. Let's go. This is game. Oh! championship of this round. This was amazing for Austin. I just couldn't clutch up. Austin clutched up, gave it all of his effort, and I appreciate that as well. So, GG. And we'll head on to Cup, cup Pong, the second game. And now, we'll go downstairs and do it right now. Guys, this is the second challenge of the three challenges. Yep. If Aaron wins, we're gonna go to a third challenge. Because if I win again, we're not going to do a yep. third challenge. He automatically wins. And, and the most uh, important rule uh, for a cup pong is you have to stay behind uh, this line, line right here. Yeah. And you can bounce it or throw it any way you want. And yeah. And yeah, exactly what he said. And actually, I'm going to be mentioning the points. And you can see here. This is five because it's the easiest to us. Then we have 10 and 15. And then we have the final, the jackpot, 20 points. And we basically have to hit it in there, any of them, bounce it in there or throw it in there. And we have three attempts to do it. You can do, as you mentioned, overhand, underhand, bouncing it, whatever strategy you would like. 
And we'll start off with that. And because Austin wants ping pong, you, you can start off. Oh, yeah. So we'll start off right here. And anyway, what are you gonna do? Like, what's your strategy? Twenty is the one in the back, right? Twenty is the one in the back. Okay. What's your I'm strategy? I'm gonna try to hit it in the middle so it can bounce to any of them. So. Okay. Good strategy, and we'll see if it works. I'm gonna over, like, throw it. I like did that this or three it. games, but bouncing is more harder than. Wait, three. really? Okay. That is kind of true. Yeah. Let's see. Whoa, what? That was very close. Let me grab the ping pong ball. The ping pong ball is very bouncy, so it can bounce. Like <laughs> yeah. Easy. I'm actually trying. That's his first attempt. I'm gonna just stay right here, and I got the fair one right here. So yeah, second attempt. Oh my God! Very my elbow. close. I think you did. You were fine on that. Last attempt. And he's going home with nothing. He got nothing. It was not planned. Nothing like that. Just happened like that. And now we'll get to my attempt. So, so guys, it is Aaron's turn. I will be asking Aaron what is his strategy. Um, my strategy is just going for same approach as him. He said that um, bouncing it. Doesn't help him, and he also tried in practice, so I'm not going to be using that, wasting an attempt. I'm just going to go for straight overhand attempts. My goal is trying to go for the 20 points one, but because Austin is zero, there's no point of going for any. I'm just trying to get at least one cup. And just saying, if this ends up like I don't hit anything, we'll go to a tiebreaker. If that happens, we'll explain more. But yeah, we'll start my attempt. Oh, that middle. By the way, your elbow just needs to be back. You can do the rest of it. Oh, really? Your elbow? You said that. I oh, know. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 right. I'm just going to keep my elbow back because I'm going to get my arm like this. That is close. I'm just hitting the middle. I don't want this to go to tiebreaker either, but I just want to hit one. And yeah, we're we'll going to try tiebreaker right after this. And. So we have Austin, we'll do the tiebreaker right now. And uh, uh, you get one attempt, first one to me. Yeah, one attempt right after another. And yeah, that's kind of how it goes. If you make one, you guaranteed win. He's going first because he won the ping pong. And yeah, we'll start. If he misses it, straight to me. Any strategy me can be used. Tell me, tell me from the opponent. Yeah. Okay, straight to mine. We're just gonna keep on switching until someone makes one. I'm just gonna keep doing that. Oh no, we got the ball. Okay, you can hold it, yeah. It's just gonna go on. If this is difficult, this might take a while, but. We might fast forward this part, because it might take Yeah, so we'll fast forward it. Try this one, hope I make it. I'm gonna try under him. Let's go! I tried it. It will bounce. It actually worked. So it isn't impossible, Austin. And I won that one, surprisingly. And wait, did I actually get the 20? Yeah, you yep. Got the 20 points, as you can see in there. Uh, it might be a bit, let me take it out. Right there, 20 points. So I got 20 points and Austin got none. So, Tie game, I have won and Austin has won. We'll go to the final challenge. So guys, this is the last and final challenge. It's a, technically whoever wins is the ping pong champion. And yes, yeah, so Aaron won the cup pong. I won the ping pong like right there. And yeah, so we're gonna do the last challenge. It's bouncing the ball on the paddle like this and yeah Aaron will explain more yeah so exactly what Austin just said um we're just basically doing that and we have a total of exactly five attempts best one wins and yeah Austin will start us off we can move anywhere do whatever we want but the ball has to be in the air and has to touch the paddle if it falls down or it just goes drops on the floor or hits the wall. or hits the wall yeah if it does any of that 
automatically disqualified with a score of zero that round. Um, just for like the that attempt, sorry, not the round. So yeah, Austin will start us off. I'm gonna move up a little because I don't wanna like risk it of turning that way. Yeah, good idea. If I turn it that way, it's most probably I can save it. So. Yeah. And it went straight down on his first attempt. So your score is zero. Because it went down. You got disqualified, basically. Oh. So, yeah, we're going to go get that real fast. And then we'll start off with Austin's second attempt. And now we will start Austin's attempt number two. And let's go. And three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and eight. It's actually eight because it touched the wall, but that's pretty good rather than your first one, which is only three. And we'll head on to attempt number three. So this is my third attempt. That was a score of nine. That last hit counts. Um, so that's one higher than his high score. It's my fourth attempt. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We'll actually do twenty for that one, even though it hit the rails. It was slightly minor; it didn't go over. It just slightly hit it. We'll let it slide. That's twenty for Austin. That's a pretty high number for his fourth attempt, and we'll go on to his fifth attempt. And let's start in three, two, one, go. Three, four, five. That was a score of five, but still, Austin's high score is a total of 20, which I have to try to beat, and we'll get to mine right after this. So this is Aaron's first attempt. Yeah, but I'm pretty good and pretty skilled at this. I'm gonna try um, switching it up just to give Austin a chance. If I don't beat a score of 20, I'm just gonna switch stick to straight doing it normally. But for this, I'll switch it up after every hit. And we'll see if I can get a good number. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Ah, that's 21. I already beat Austin. So that was an amazing game we had. I clutched it up as my first attempt, and I got a score of 21, which beat Austin's score. But a uh, good game, Austin. <laughs> well... I won that challenge, and we're going to end it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more, and see you all later.